Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to Justin Nelson's Projects. Now, I get asked a lot of times, why do you need a level shifter to connect a Raspberry Pi or an ESP to an LED strip? Well, there are a few reasons and some of it's kind of technical, but I'll simplify it here. Forgive the noise in the background, I am currently 3D printing a little shelf for the whiteboard so I can put my markers and an eraser. That's beside the point. So let's say this is zero volts this line here, and this line is five volts. And that is the voltage the LED strip is running at. The logic level, the data line, should be between zero and five volts. And this is the data being sent along that line. However, the Raspberry Pi, which we will appropriately use red for that, is only gonna hit about this 3.3 volt level. So, its data is gonna be about here. In a moment, you'll see why that's important and what the problem is here. The threshold on five volt logic, most of the time, but specifically in the case of these RGB LED strips, the threshold between flipping from a zero to a one in binary is 0.7 or 70% of that five volts. And what is 70% of five volts? 3.5. Five, which means our threshold is right about there. The Pi isn't quite hitting that threshold to reliably flip that zero into a one every time. Generally speaking, these five volt supplies are about 4.8, 4.9 volts, depending on the quality of the supply, the length of the power wire. You get within the range and there are tolerances. Unfortunately, those tolerances can work against you as well. So the level shifter takes that 3.3 volts and well, turns it into this green line basically. Now, there are some other features of my particular level shifter, but specifically if you are using a Raspberry Pi 02W, Pi 4B, any Raspberry Pi that's got the 40 pin header will work with this. So if you take and you orient it to where your pin header is to your right, and you take the right hand row and count down one, two, three, four, five, the sixth pin down, that is GPIO 18. And the next pin down on the same side is a ground wire. So you've got a nice data ground. So there's your data connected to the level shifter. Next up, we want to connect that level shifter to your LED strip. So let's pretend this is a strip on the back of your TV or wherever. Click. There we go. So now we've got five volt data coming from a 3.3 volt source. Now, in addition, you've got your power supply that's gonna run your LEDs, preferably a nice beefy 10 amp or 15 amp if you've got a very large TV or just a really long set of LEDs. And that plugs directly into my level shifter. And this sends that five volts directly to your LED strip. No need to connect to the power injection wires. They're the same gauge wires and they're coming in at the same point. If you wanna add power injection, do that somewhere else down the line or at the other end of the strip. But that's another topic. And generally speaking, unnecessary. I'm looking around for, okay, I had to find the cable there. But when you order my level shifter, I also throw in your choice of a type C or a USB micro. In the case of the Pi 02W, you want the micro. And of course, you're gonna plug that into the furthest micro USB port. And then the C end goes into the level shifter. And now the level shifter is setting that five volts into the Pi, but it's doing it in the safest way possible because the Pi has protection on that USB power input. Previous videos, I was feeding five volts directly on the header pins, and that's not a good idea because you lose that protection. So that's why this is the newer version. So now at this point, you've got 3.3 volt logic going through here, being shifted up to five volts and being sent back. Now what happens if we accidentally Oh, I don't know, say with a screwdriver or anything conductive, touch the five volt, one of these five volt pads and the data pad at the same time. And uh, ooh, we just sent five volts right into a 3.3 volt GPIO. Without the level shifter, that's what would have happened and you'd be buying yourself a new Raspberry Pi. And if you do, use my links below and maybe invest in a level shifter so that doesn't happen again. 
My level shifter does not allow anything to feed that direction on this green wire here. Only this direction. It's completely isolated. This can also be used on a Pi Pico, ESP32, ESP8266. So you can use this level shifter for all your WLED projects and, and whatnot. But I generally specifically designed it for the Raspberry Pi for the Hyperion project. But again, multiple uses. All this for 20 bucks, you get the cable. For an extra $2, I throw in three corner braces so you can wrap your LED strip around your TV and a little bit of a knockoff Velcro so you can stick everything to the back of the TV. I will have a full update video coming soon on this channel, so make sure you're subscribed. Leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up to let YouTube know you want to see more of this ugly mug in this uh, fancy studio. Meanwhile, hopefully my print over here will finish soon so i can put a nice little railing so i've got somewhere to put my dry erase markers and eraser anyway you don't care about that click something on your screen ambilight related see you on the next one thanks for watching